Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys got some good food in your belly. Hope you made good money if you worked. If you didn't work, I hope you had a great day doing whatever you wanted to do. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a message and share something with you guys. So first, yesterday's video, basically I made an anti-strike video and I know a lot of you guys in the comments were like, yeah, it's great, no strike, no strike, no strike, no strike. But I also know that there are some people that are going to be striking or are striking from Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Instacart, from the, from the gig economy and want to put it to the big companies. I get it, do you. Just know I am an opinionated guy and I speak my truth. Striking in the gig economy has not worked. If you're expecting the same result and you're doing the same thing, let's figure out what that next thing is that could be beneficial. And I'm willing to be one of the people that could help facilitate that. Just wanna let anybody that is striking and feeling and protesting and marching and doing that stuff, let's figure something else out. And I'm helping, I'm willing to use my platform to have those conversations. I want, to let, I want to put that out there. Now, tonight, on the West Coast, when you're watching this, it's 6.30. In the Midwest, it's 8.30. On the East Coast, it's 9.30 when you're watching this. Many of you guys are going to be out. Maybe you're in your cars right now when you're watching it. Maybe you're watching this and it's Friday, the next day, and you're trying to make money and you're figuring, can I make money? I'm a new driver. I don't know, you know, is it worth going out? This is my message to you. If you're out right now, Thursday night, just a lot of places is Thanksgiving, they're gonna be done, they're gonna be closed. If you're new and you're out, or you're wondering, you're sitting at home, should I go out for late night? Are there gonna be orders? Hey, some McDonald's, some Wendy's, some White Castles, convenience stores, Walgreens, CVS, Wawa's, will be, they'll be open. Open up the customer app, the DoorDash app. If you don't have that app, you should have it so you can see. That's gonna tell you what's open right there. If you see enough places that are open, go out. If you see a lot of places aren't open, maybe you don't go out. Your market, you have to know that. Open up the customer app, what the customer would see. It doesn't mean that's 100% accurate. Some local joints might say they're open, but maybe they didn't update. But it might give you a good indicator of what can customers order right now? And is it worth me going out right now to do that for a late night run to make some money? Because we know most drivers that do this, hey, we gotta make our money. We're living day to day, paycheck to paycheck. Is it worth your time? Open up the DoorDash customer app, see what's out there. That's gonna tell you. Also, tomorrow, clearly it's a big, 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 big shopping day of the year. Basically the biggest shopping day. It's not what it used to be, but it's still Black Friday. Places like Walmart and Target and all these malls are gonna be packed, right? So if you're a spark driver, if you do other things, Uber, if you do DoorDash, you might see Target orders. These places are going to be busy. It's gonna be long wait times. Be patient, unassign and drop orders if it's not worth your time, but know that there could be money out there. Now also, restaurants might have different operating hours tomorrow. Some will open up later. Some that are historically open for lunch might not open until dinner. Once again, check your apps, call these places, do a quick Google search, whatever. Seek out the information because tomorrow will be a different day. A lot of cars are gonna be on the road. You're gonna run into different types of things, different types of obstacles. However, there's gonna be money to be made tomorrow, especially at dinner time. After people are done shopping, they're at home, some people will eat leftovers, others aren't gonna to wanna to cook, they're gonna order out pizza, Chinese, whatever. It's going to be busy. A lot of people have relatives from in and out of town or like me, I'm in Virginia, I'm out of town, not at home. So you have to order out. If you're in a hotel, you might not have options. Tomorrow night will be a really big money day for a lot of you drivers out there. So, if you're out tonight, make what you can. If not, rest up, do your research in your market, and make your money tomorrow. Stay selective. The people that don't tip aren't gonna tip. The people that do tip might tip you a little more because they're in a giving mood. Obviously, it's the holiday seasons have happened. Money will be good tomorrow. If you're not somebody that usually works on Friday and you're like on the fence, work tomorrow night. I think most of you guys are gonna be able to make a good night for tomorrow. And really just one last final thought. I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me and mine on this channel. A lot of new things, great things coming, certain collaborations, just be on the lookout. 2023 is gonna be a big, big year for us on this channel and the boy bet on you brand. I do wanna say we're still linked up with Solo, okay? Now, 
I have two more, sold and gave me three swag bags with swag and each bag had a $25 gift card, okay? I passed out one, I'm gonna show you a clip of who I gave it to, a local driver in my market. As I run into people, I'm gonna pass these bags out. I got two more bags to go, super excited. Also, check the pinned comment and the description for a solo link. Click on that link, link your apps up. If you link your payment up, you get $10 free from solo if it's in your market. It hit six new markets last week. Until the 26th, which is I believe tomorrow, right? You could be entered in if you use that affiliate link and you sign up to win one of two $50 gift card swag bags from Solo that I'll be announcing those winners basically this coming up Sunday. And those will be shipped out Monday morning. Appreciate you guys 100, man. It's been a good day today, a reflective day. Spend time with my girls. We're still gonna be here tomorrow. We'll be back on the grind Monday morning, but back in St. Louis Saturday. I look forward to the live with you guys on Sunday. That's what I got. Money to be made in your markets. Do not turn the apps off and strike. Turn them on and make your money. Show them that what you're worth based on the orders that you take. And the ones that are bad, and to all the drivers that are striking, turn your app on anyway. Even if you're striking in that line, turn it on and decline everything. That way, the drivers that are working, your fellow gig workers, can make more money. Because the more you we decline, the more the apps have to pay us. It's simple mathematics. Don't turn the apps off turn them on, decline trash, take good orders, and give good customer service to the customers that are tipping you. And all the clowns that don't leave you a tip, they don't get their food. That's how you fight back. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, ran into a fellow St. Louis DoorDash driver and Uber Eats. His name is Tim. We're going to give him the first of three solo bags that has a swag plus a $25 gift card. But before we do that, Tim, how long have you been doing the gig apps in St. Louis? I've been doing it about a year or so, man. So far, it's been pretty good. Cool. Love it, love it, love it. He just showed me his numbers. He's got a 4.97 rating. He's got really good numbers. I think he's over 4,000 deliveries in just a year. True hustler. So I'm going to gift this bag from Solo to Tim. There you go, my friend. I appreciate you, Appreciate man. running into you, my friend. All right. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.